Okay, so let's get these ears done. Uh, like I did say in my last video, we're going to just carve out the back of the ears. So we're just going to hold Control and select all of these ears just here. Uh, all these vertices, should I say, just around the ear. So I'm just selecting the ones kind of around the back. I'm not going to go and select the ones that I've actually targeted, target welded onto the um, onto the side of the face. And then I'm going to go to my scale tool, press Alt and X, and then just scale down with a middle triangle like that. And then go to my move tool. I'm just going to kind of reduce the amount of angle here because from you know the top of the ear, it's not going to be quite so pronounced. The same way as the bottom as well, it's not going to be quite so um, intense, that, that kind of angle. So you know, you kind of get a gist of what I'm doing here, it kind of, you've got that curve there and it looks, looks quite good. I'm just going to thin out some of these areas here because I don't want area to look ridiculously thick or fat, so I'm just thinning this out a little. And just changing the angle here slightly because I want it to look smooth. I don't want areas to look weird and odd. And just here as well, just going to pull this earlobe area in a little bit like that. There we have it. Ears, ears are done. I probably do need to just pull out the ear area a little bit because it looks a bit too narrow at the minute but um, like I said I can just kind of fix that up later it's probably down to perspective why I can't see the ears um, and the further I go out the more I can see them um, but you know I'll worry about that later like I've just said but you know I'm pretty happy with that I'm pretty happy with the way it's looking uh, so far looking good one thing I will do um, is I'm just going to kind of expand on the neck area because I want to give hair a little bit more um, structure because about the minute it looks you know a lot like a floating head and it is a floating head and it probably will still look like a floating head after I've given her a bit more of a neck but um, I just think she needs some more structure so the neck has to go in So again, just be careful on the angle of which you are creating um, the angles that you're creating. You don't want to kind of go crazy with them and make radical angles because that's not the way a neck goes. It's quite a smooth shape. Yeah, see my neck's a little wider, but I think that's down to perspective, which is why it looks a little odd. So I'm just kind of pulling it in a little bit to try and help remedy that. Um, like so, and maybe across the back as well. Just pull these in. I could use soft selection um, at this stage, but I'm you know, just doing it vertice by vertice. I'm just going to round this area off at the, at the bottom as well. So I'll worry about the thickness of the neck later. I just want to create a nice kind of round neck area. So the way I'll do this, I'll just select this one edge here and if I click loop just on the right, it's going to kind of select all the way around the back, which is great but of course it selects around the front where I don't want it as well which is just here so I deselect all of that by holding alt and just click you know, click and drag over that area there and then I can hold shift drag that down like so and then in fact you know what, I'll do the front at the same time I just need to make sure that it's rounded um, it looks quite round enough, so I'm just going to 
add this area to the selection just going to edit it a little just to round it off a little more like so um, and then I'm just going to press shift and drag it down or hold shift and drag down like so just do a bit of tweaking here and there just so it lines up a little better like that might help with the curvature a little bit as well and then um, I think that's about it for the for the neck just need to make sure it's on the same smoothing group which is why it looks a bit like a collar at the minute um, because it's not on the same smoothing group just going to select all of that scroll down and click one there we are so we've just added a neck and it looks okay it looks good but of course you know she looks a bit odd because she doesn't have a texture on her and of course we're not going to have a texture just yet um, the way I'm going to do this is uh, I'm just going to unwrap it in 3ds max and um, then I'm going to take it into ZBrush which is where I'm going to kind of create some extra um, effects and add some depth on the face like where the eyebrows are let's raise that up a little bit and that kind of stuff you know I'm still determining trying to determine whether to use hair in 3ds max or should I use a normal map which is more kind of conventional game standards um, to use normal mapping um, I might try I might do both actually so you know I think first of all in my next video I will cover how to unwrap um, our character uh, that shouldn't be too long I don't think and um, from then I will probably go into ZBrush um, or texture my character first so just you know stay tuned and look forward to my next video where I will be unwrapping our head